Well, color me surprised. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for the second episode of The Winchesters. Two surprises. One, I didn't really expect myself to watch it, but I thought, you know what, I'll give it 10 minutes. And I actually finished it, and this is a huge uptick in quality. We actually get more of a focus on character development, we get more of a focus on how these guys operate. They actually fought something that was a threat, like they didn't take down a demon like it was, I don't know, something out of a grade school play or, I don't know, of a children's show where all the dogs and Bob the Builder just be like, hey, let's work together. This actually ha was a kind of a cool monster. I the effects were a bit iffy here and there. Sometimes they were good, sometimes they were bad. Something I gotta keep on reflecting on is this is only gonna be a 13 episode season. That actually does help with bloatedness because that's something that CW was terribly known for. And two, it does kind of bode a little bit better for the future of this show, particularly because the opening numbers for the first episode were only 700, around 750,000 viewers. That's not a lot. The first episode of Supernatural got 4 million. Now, it never got that high again after that, but it still was significantly high. It was in the millions. So when your first episode doesn't have that high, that will be a bit of a challenge going into this show getting renewed. If the episode numbers are here, the very likelihood that they'll go down is quite high, especially with CW shows. Batwoman was never, maybe getting around three to 400,000 viewers, despite the fact that they had a budget for a show that would normally have five million viewers. And you wonder why the CW was sold for a dollar. No, sorry, nothing. I actually thought that the dynamic between John and Mary was a lot better. The chemistry was a lot better. I liked the group. It got a little bit more of an interest into the group itself. There was focus not only on John and his mom, which again, not expected, but also on Mary, her kind of obsession with finding her father, kind of that, you see that sort of stereotype of the Winchesters, especially Dean having that very dead set mentality and not really listening to others. Did it kind of come across again a little bit Scooby-Doo-ish? Yes, but far less Scooby-Doo-ish than the last episode. And I liked how there was a bit of horror in this. I thought that the lighting was a lot better done. I don't know why, but I just hated how they shot in the night of like whatever town they were in in the first episode. That oversaturation, that big blooms of light just looks awful. So when they went to the hippie commune, they actually just kept it normal. I thought that was great. Didn't have as much of that, um, that uh, soap opera effect on it. And then I liked how the episode ended. I, you know, they're working together as a team. Sam, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna make that a reference probably. I'm gonna make the mistake a couple of times probably throughout reviewing this show. John and his mom kind of made up. And also it gave a good tease to something at the end. What it was, no idea, but did it look creepy? Yeah, it did. Overall, the episode made a bunch of improvements. Pacing was a lot better. Chemistry was a lot better. Acting was a lot better. Uh, general uh, photography was a lot better. The monster and how it was handled was a lot better. It just felt like this was a lot more focused, a lot less all over the place with ADHD. Dean makes a reference at the beginning and that's it. You just hear his voice once. My rating of this episode and um, you know what? It's, it's a solid four. I think it's a very good one. Five would be a bit too generous, I find. But a four out of seven. I think it's a great improvement from the last one. It definitely is ticking off a lot more boxes that Supernatural fans would be accustomed to. And it actually is building the show itself and its characters, which is what it should do, considering what it's doing. The one thing I am going to talk about, though, is how a lot of people in the first episode review, that a lot of them were commenting on, one, Mary Winchester being able to punch a demon. Come on, guys, this is a fucking fantasy show. We're going off with the same goddamn logic that season 15 put in, which God forbid I hate referencing. These guys are preordained by God and whatnot, so of course she's gonna have the ability to beat up monsters, but the fact that those are guys who are like, mm -hmm, the tiny little bird, it's like, whatever guys, it's like, that's what you get when you watch this show. You're not watching fucking something realistic. And not in that sense anyways. Uh, the other one was, I had a, some person went off about how the show is too woke because the hippie character apparently says in one of his interviews that his, whatever is not, his character is non-binary. As far as I've seen, it's never been mentioned. 
in the actual show. They are doing what they should do, which is make a character. Not make a character by out of trait, just actually making a general character. So as long as they do that, I'm gonna be fine with it. The one thing though that I did find very interesting in the comments is like, oh, Jensen says he's gonna explain it all at the end of the season. You all know it's gonna be a mind wipe, right? Mind wipe, angel wipe, reversing time, something. All of this is going to be forgotten. It has to be that unless they pull some rabbit out of their ass and do something that completely doesn't make any sense, then yeah, it's gonna be a mind wipe. Ugh, I, something for a sacrifice, having to forget who she is to save them, or that's how the only way that he will be saved from dying is that his memory has to go, or some some stupid sappity sappity shit like that. But that's probably what's gonna happen. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below though. I'm interested to see if any of you guys are still following. I was surprised at how many people watched the first review. Maybe I'll keep this going. Otherwise, if you guys like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys for the next one.